President Jacob Zuma has for the first time ever since he was elected president in 2009 convened a high-level presidential labor working group meeting. The meeting was attended by, among others, the Deputy President Cyril Ramaphosa, major labor federation leaders and cabinet members. The president established different presidential working groups where private sector meet with the government in attempt to analyze and propose solutions that can help to develop the country. The context of this uh, labor working group that the president is convening today is that it's taking place within the context of a strong economic headwinds that we are experiencing not only in South Africa but across the globe. So we therefore need all hands on deck in order to ensure that uh, we work together with all stakeholders, more importantly labor, in order to deal with the domestic constraints that uh, still stand on the way for uh, economic growth in our countries. There were various briefings from ministers and labor federations of which some focused on the non-point plan economy and job creation. What also came out of the meeting is an appreciation of the fact that the government is responding to the current economic challenges. To this end, it was then decided that we should set up a 10-person committee which would be composed of government at the ministerial level as well as two each from the three federations that they should get together and work on the issues that were identified. And the issues that were identified clearly were issues such as jobs, uh, issues such as a new wage policy. As part of the working group, the 10% committee will be responsible for the establishment of a job summit which was called for by Labour Federation representatives. We believe that the job summit uh, as the progress uh, work uh, culmination is a, 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 a a, a point where we have would have highlighted for the whole country to be aware of what we're doing, but unleashing a program on how we're dealing with the problem and the challenge that we are facing. It's a very, very important uh, 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 process. During the proceedings, the issue of youth wage subsidy was not specifically discussed as the focus was on youth employment. For GCIS News, I am Oratilo Twain.